Hello everybody, we are in the uh, 17th class and this is uh, uh, where we discuss the multiplexer, second part of the multiplexer. In the last class, we had seen uh, the basic concepts, uh, concept of multiplexer and in this particular class, we shall look at some practical uh, ICs, integrated circuits which are used uh, for uh, multiplexer, multiplexing operation and we shall look into uh, how they are uh, developed and how they work. So, this class will be mostly on the practical use of multiplexer in your lab or any uh, project or any design uh, activity that you plan, how you take the uh, uh, go for the hardware implementation. So, in the first uh, 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 slide, we discuss IC 74153. Okay. So, in this particular IC, we see a 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, 4 to 1 multiplexer, the basic concept we have already seen, we had seen in the last class. Okay. But in when you practically implement it, you see in this uh, particular IC, there are uh, 16 pins, this is 1 to 8 and uh, 9 to 16 and this is how the circuit is made up of. So, in the circuit if you look at it, I will uh, discuss it uh, uh, I mean with uh, all the inputs and other things. So, first thing you can see there is one 4 to 1 multiplexer over here. This is one 4 to 1 multiplexer that you can see. There are some other additional inputs we shall discuss later. So, this is another 4 to 1 multiplexer that we can see. So, basically this is a dual that means, 2 4 to 1 multiplexer is there. The other thing that we can see is that the select input B and A, it is termed as B and A. So, this is common for both the units, this multiplexer and this multiplexer select input is common. Okay? That is what we can see. And the third thing we see that each of this multiplexer has separate, two separate input, one called strobe G1, another this is another strobe G2. So, this G1 you see is connected you can see from here to here. So, this strobe is not con getting connected to this place. This strobe G2 is connected to this four. Okay? So, the strobe part is individual. So, this strobe is affecting only this uh, uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer and this strobe is affecting only the bottom 4 to 1 multiplexer. This is what we can visualize. Okay. Now, we look at how this particular circuit work, this practical circuit which is there in the form of integrated uh, chip I see. So, integrated circuit uh, we shall see how it works. So, when strobe is high, so there is an inverter over there, it is a actually is a not operation that is happening. Okay. So, this output is 0. If strobe is high 1, this output is 0. So, if this is 0 for all the or uh, all the AND gates, the output will be 0, each of them it, the output is 0. So, the final output y 1 will be what? 0 only that is low irrespective of whatever is the value of B A and these are the data inputs whatever will be the value, okay, the output will be low. So, that is what you see over here when strobe is high, the output is low irrespective of x x means do not care the value of b and a. This is happening for the bottom one also. If this strobe is this strobe over here is high, then this output will be low. So, this is symmetrical. Okay. Fine. So, for normal multiplexing operation, the strobe need to be at low. Okay. Then this is high and get. So, the operation goes to the other inputs. Now, let us just take one particular example. So, if the select input is say 0 0. Okay. So, then this is 1 and this is 1. So, this one is connected over here to this AND gate. This one goes to this AND gate. I have shown you the line. right? So, this is the other input. So, these three inputs are 1 now. So, this AND gate output now will be whatever is 1 C 0 that is the data input. So, 1 here means first block, this is a dual package, C naught is the D naught equivalent of what we had seen in the last class. Okay. So, this is the data input. So, this is what 
when you will get 1 C 0 over here. And for all the other AND gates, you will see this select inputs, these are connected in such, such a manner that one of them is 0. Okay? So, one of them 0 means irrespective of whatever the data inputs are, each of these are 0. Right? So, what will be the output then? Is 1 C 0. Okay? So, when this is low right? and these two are low and low, then the output is this C 0 is the output over here. Similarly, over here in the bottom place also. When this is low and high, it will be C 1, high low, this is C 2 and this is C 3. This is nothing but the multiplexing operation. So, additional thing over what we discussed in the last class, you see is the presence of the stroke, which is nothing but a enable uh, like control input that when strobe is high, the multiplexer is disabled, when strobe is low, the normal multiplexing operation is taking place. And we can have the corresponding equation over here. So, you can see if E is equal to 0, E is your strobe or enable. So, if E is equal to 0, okay, then this is 1 and normal multiplexer, multiplexing equation is there. And when E is equal to 1, so this is 0, rest of the thing is 0. So, this is clear. So, nothing to be scared like you know what is this circuit looks like, it is nothing but 2 4 to 1 multiplexer with additional enable input. That enable input is going to the AND gates, each one of them and making it operational, I mean the uh, normal multiplexing operation for a specific value and other value it is a fixed logic low, it is uh, you know holding at the output. Okay. So, if this is clear, so we look at another circuit, uh, multiplexer circuit which is there, where the output is inverted. Earlier we have seen all the output is just you know uh, uh, whatever is the input, output is following the input. Okay. So, y is equal to d naught, d 1 and so on and so forth. So, here is a circuit IC 74150, this is a 16 to 1 multiplexer. Right. So, it also has got a strobe input. So, strobe now we understand no problem. So, whenever the strobe is high irrespective of the others what is there in the select input output is high. Why output is high? You see this is AND gate and this is the OR gate after that there is a inverter. Okay? So, in the earlier example we had seen that if this is high, so this will be 0 all of them will be 0. So, the output will be 0. right? But because of the presence of the inverter, now we see the output is high. Okay, this is clear. So only when the strobe is or the enable is low, the normal multiplexing operation is taking place. So low, 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 low. So all the these things are low. Then E naught will go to the output, right? E naught will go to the output. So why will be E naught if this bubble is not there? Inverter is not there. Since this inverter is present y will be E naught bar, y will be E naught bar. Similarly, for other cases E 1 bar, E 2 bar, E 3 bar and so on and so forth. Okay. So, in uh, earlier cases examples, we had considered this uh, input to be D naught, D 1 data input. So, previous uh, IC chip you have seen that that was used as C naught and here, here the manufacturer, the data sheet, they are representing it as E uh, I. E naught, E 1, E 2, E 3, but you know the meaning remains the same. Is it clear? So, this is what we can see and corresponding then equation becomes what? This is the basic equation we had seen, which we had seen before with enable. Okay. Now, because of the presence of this inverter, the whole thing after that there is an inverter uh, connected. Okay. So, this is what becomes the equation and the corresponding logic circuit. Simple. Now, we look at uh, realization of certain truth table using the multiplexer. Right? So, earlier we had seen uh, in the last class that this is possible using Sinan's expansion theorem and all. Right? Here, we are taking some practical IC and looking at its realization. So, in this case, uh, we are looking at ICs 1714153 multiplexer we had seen before with a strobe or enable input. So, that is the, uh, uh, the basic equation of that. Okay. And we want to realize a truth table which is something like this. Okay. So, this truth table F 0 0, whenever these two values are 0 0, it is 0, 0 1 1 
one zero one and one one. This is zero. So this is the corresponding, uh, you know, logic equation, basic logic equation. So this we can write in terms of all the mean terms b prime a prime dot zero. Okay, b prime a prime ended with zero, b prime a ended with one, b b a prime ended with one, and b a uh, b a ended with zero. So this looks like a multiplexer equation with d not is equal to zero, d one is equal to one, d two is equal to one, and d three is equal to zero. Isn't it right? And in the seven four one five three context, these are c or c not c one c two c three. So c not is zero, c one is one, c two is one, and c c three is zero. Okay, c not c one c two and c three, right? So what we do? We take only half the top part of the IC seven four one five three, or bottom part one part of it, right? B and A we connect the way uh, you know we just just the input uh, is connected right. We put E is equal to zero or the strobe is equal to zero. If we are taking the top part, then the top uh, part of the strobe uh, G1 we take zero, and the corresponding one C zero, one C one, one C zero, one C one, one C two, one C three we put as zero one one zero, and we take from uh, one I the Y one the first part, and the this particular truth table is realized. Is it clear? So, so that was for a uh, two-variable realization. So, for a three-variable realization, we can look at IC seven four one five one, which is a eight to one multiplexer. So, eight to one multiplexer, it also has got a strobe input, okay, similar to that, and but it has got both non-inverted and inverted uh, output. We have seen uh, non-inverted output for uh, IC seven four one five three. And we have seen inverted output for IC seven four one five zero. So IC seven four one five have has got both the versions. So basically, you can have you can use any one of them depending on your requirement. And we want to realize a truth table which has got this main terms zero two three six seven. Okay. So how do you go about? So this is the eight to one multiplexer. These are the select inputs, and we know zero 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 one to up to one one one. These are the corresponding data inputs, and going by the previous discussion in the earlier class and just now, what we had done for uh, four to one multiplexer, two variable example. So wherever uh, these min terms are existing, corresponding D not value, uh, D I value, okay, we put them as one. So zero is there. So D in place of D not, we will put one. Then one is not there. In term one is not present, so in place of D one we shall put zero. So accordingly, zero two three six seven. So zero two three six seven, we put one, and rest of the places we put zero, and we take the output from the non-inverted uh, output, and the uh, function is realized. Is it clear? So this is the way uh, it can be uh, realized by uh, uh, the ICs in hand, and uh, because of this, we can uh, tell, we can find that multiplexer can be used as a universal logic circuit. What does it mean? It means that any logic function can be realized using a uh, multiplexer by appropriately placing the uh, input uh, values, the data input values appropriately placing. Just it is a Uh, how you arrange the uh, you know uh, place the zeros and ones at the input side, you get the logic function uh, uh, realized. So you have to just uh, uh, you know expand the logic function, logic uh, Boolean equation in terms of uh, where all the min terms are present, and accordingly you uh, uh, place the inputs. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, four variable example, and if it is a four variable example, we sh what shall we use? We shall use seven four one five zero. Okay, which is a 16 to 1 multiplexer. So in this 16 to 1 multiplexer, one thing we need to take note of for IC 74150 that this is a uh, this is giving a inverted uh, output. Okay, this is giving a inverted output. So uh, uh, to realize what we can do, let us see one example. So this is the basic equation of IC 74150 which we have seen before. Okay. So this is the inversion that we are talking about, right? And so first of all, we put e is equal to zero. 
okay that enable otherwise the multiplexing operation will be not be there so this is the true and the truth table that we want to realize is this is the truth table that we want to realize okay so we give select inputs a b c d over here like this these are the corresponding pin numbers right and this truth table in terms of mean terms so this is how you write 0 2 3 4 5 8 9 10 11 12 13 15 okay now if y is this particular function over here this is prime then y prime is what you get over here you take you know prime uh, you know inversion in the both sides so this is your y prime okay and this is the basic multiplexer equation so this uh, this is if you are trying to realize these as y what is the corresponding y prime y prime is the terms that are not included here the max terms these are the mean terms okay so y prime if you write in terms of you know uh, the terms that are left over is 1 over here 6 over here 7 over here and 14 over there okay so y is like this so y prime is this one is it fine so in this case since it is generating y prime by this equation so what you need to uh, you know connect so 1 6 7 14 so 1 d1 d6 d7 and d14 you connect to high logic high okay and rest you connect to ground is it clear otherwise you would have needed if you go by the normal uh, thing that 0 2 3 4 5 you put connected to one then you have to put another inverter after this okay uh, but uh, it is equivalent uh, truth table is y prime is wherever one is there that is there is a zero and wherever one is, uh, zero is there there is a one so you can realize y prime that is equivalent to get realizing y the same truth table okay so this is what you can do when you have got inverted output okay so you can make a judicious decision and that will reduce your hardware and all now uh, so far we have seen that uh, as many number of uh, variables for realization as many number of uh, control input or select inputs will be required okay but uh, if you have got a uh, problem where you want to realize uh, a three variable function but you have got only 4 to 1 multiplexer available uh, with you can you go ahead it is possible if we uh, utilize the concept of entered variable which we had done uh, in uh, earlier case uh, where entered variable map based minimization and all okay so let us look at uh, how this can be done uh, through an example so this is one particular truth table that we want to realize okay so 1 0 uh, these are the uh, uh, terms uh, mean terms which is uh, present and accordingly if it is 8 to 1 mil, uh, multiplexer based realization it is very simple wherever 0 0 0 this is 1 so this is a 1 present and we are just following this over here and the circuit is realized it is as simple as that using 8 to 1 multiplexer now since 8 to 1 multiplexer is not present we have got only 4 to 1 multiplexer so we can look at combining the inputs the way we had done in case of entered variable you know map based minimization so if we consider c as the variable that will enter so we form paired in this manner right if we recollect so here both a and b are 0 0 right so when both a and b are 0 0 we see that y is just uh, invert inverse uh, uh, you know uh, prime of c so y is c prime and for other cases we see y is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 just if you take them as pair okay how the output is there output is not dependent on c other uh, variable so only in this case it is dependent on c but just uh, as c prime okay so in the 4 to 1 multiplexer with a b as select input now for 0 1 this is the 0 1 case 1 0 and 1 1 these three cases we put 1 0 1 as you see over here right and for 0 0 we put c prime okay so this also realizes the uh, three variable function but using a 4 to 1 multiplexer okay so this is the usefulness of this exercise and uh, this can be extended to 
uh, realization of uh, four variable function using eight two one multiplex. So just one order less the way we had uh, seen it before. How it happens for entered web, uh, variable based uh, you know minimization in a Carnot map. Similar thing we see that one order less is required for the multiplexer to be used for realization of the uh, truth table. So, in this uh, case there is another example where we have got uh, 4 variable uh, the mean terms are 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, these are the mean terms that we generate. Again uh, uh, we form pairs the way we uh, had done it for the previous example. Okay. So, when A B C is 0, 0, uh, 0. So, 8 to 1 multiplexer means 3 select inputs will be there. So, output is just invert uh, of D okay. and uh, here the output is, this is y is equal to D prime, this is y is equal to y is equal to 1. Okay. So, this is the way the rest of the things will be there. Okay. In the form of a table you can see what uh, has been shown here. So, this is equal to 0, 0, 0 d is equal to uh, 0 and d is equal to 1 these are the two cases. So, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0, this is 0. So, y is equal to just opposite of it. So, basically it is for 0 it is 1, 1 it is 0. So, it is d prime. So, similarly you complete the rest of the things you will see that y is equal to d prime over here 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and this is d. Okay. So, then uh, your uh, corresponding uh, uh, real addition using IC 74151 with enable as 0 okay, and we are taking uh, these uh, non-inverting output. Then for uh, 0 you are putting D prime. So, this is D prime and for uh, 7 over here ABC 111 you are putting D, okay, D7 as D and rest of the cases you are putting 0s and 1s uh, as per the requirement. So, 3 is equal to d3 is equal to 0 and rest of the d1, d2, d4, d5 and d6 they are 1 and the circuit is realized. Okay. Truth table is realized. So, that is how this multiplexer is very useful in uh, uh, and uh, used as a universal logic circuit. Now, uh, we shall uh, look at uh, some uh, aspect of a uh, practical multiplexer IC which is 74157. Okay. So, this is 74157 if I ask you uh, what, how many multiplexer is there and what is the type. Then you can see first of all how will you investigate this circuit. So, one is strobe at the input side you can see which is there common to all of them. So, if strobe is here it is a low uh, sorry high then it is low. So, all the all of them will be the output will be 0. Okay. So, when strobe is low then only the normal multiplexing operation is there. So, that is what we have st studied before and we are we are uh, understand it. The other thing that we see that there is only one select input. Okay. So, one select input. So, this is with one select input we can get 2 to 1 multiplexer. right? Fine and we can see that there is one block over here there is another block over here, there is another block over here and there is another block over here. So, 4 2 to 1 multiplexer is there. Okay. So, this is called quad. Okay. 4 is quad. So, earlier we had seen dual, this is a quad. So, this 4 2 to 1 multiplexer is there with one common select and common strobe. Right. So, if I write in the form of a logic circuit for a you know better understanding, so this is what you can see. So, this is A1, A2, A3, A4. Okay. In the, this is the as, as far as the you know manufacturer's uh, you know uh, data sheet. What we are representing this here as sim the same thing as A3 to A0 for certain reason which I shall tell later. So, similarly B1 to B4 we are representing the exactly the same thing B3 to B0. I mean basically the same input just designation is different. Okay. And when select is 0, select is 0, this set is selected. So, basically this is AND OR, AND OR is also your NAND NAND operation. So, that we have seen before okay, in uh, earlier weeks. So, 
meaning remains the same a super realization using and dot and 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 so this is an alternate representation of the same circuit okay so uh, what we see here is that when select is zero this y not y 3 to not becomes a 3 to not this is when select is zero and when select is one then y 3 not becomes b 3 to 0 is it fine okay so this selection of four such bits as a uh, whole so this four bit as a as a group is called nibble okay so this is also known as nibble multiplexer and this has got its usefulness say we are talking about uh, we shall see later in more greater detail say binary coded decimal okay so a decimal number say 7 okay we want to code it in binary how will we uh, will do it 0 1 1 1 okay so this is the 0th bit first bit second bit and third bit so there is certain weight associated more of that we shall discuss uh, later in the subsequent weeks okay and if we represent 9 what is 9 1 0 0 1 okay so these are the way the they are represented so if we want to uh, output one of these two numbers depending on certain condition being fulfilled say either 7 or 9 right so we need a group of four bits so these four bits are coming as a whole either 7 will come or 9 will come and accordingly there will be some display and other things more of that we can discuss later so this is what is done and this is uh, can be done through nibble multiplexer so four bit can be selected simultaneously if we require uh, uh, more than four bits then we have to cascade it we have to have uh, another such unit there so this is the corresponding uh, uh, circuit uh, you can see so now uh, at times this nibble multiplexer is connected uh, in a manner where many uh, such units are trying to place data so this is one block this is one uh, nibble multiplexer this is another nibble multiplexer right and they are trying to place data over a common line depending on which one is getting selected so if this is selected that is the strobe is there right and the other uh, i mean all these cases so uh, corresponding depending on the value one of the uh, two set of inputs will go there okay right now if one common line is there in which all of them are trying to send data then the data might get you know corrupted because if out of these four lines one is sending one another is at that time is sending say zero there is a uh, uh, you know problem so when one is sending the other one must not send okay so and not only that it must not also take any value ten, take any uh, you know electrical uh, energy from this particular circuit so it should remain electrically insulated so this is known as high impedance so this is we have seen uh, discussed before this is also achieved by a tri-stated uh, you know output so this tri-stated output is useful whenever we are talking about uh, sending or grouping multiple of multiple bits and sending from one place to another is you know it is uh, more important in that context so in this case ic 74257 earlier we had seen ic 74157 is a nibble multiplexer okay so ic 74257 is also a nibble multiplexer but now we have got an additional input over here which is output enable okay so this output enable is what does it do it is just try stating the output that means if this is not if this is high then irrespective of what is selected and all output will be at high impedance so neither it will send anything nor it will take anything from the external world it is connected to external electrical circuitry it is connected to okay only when it is low okay the output will be following the top, uh, top, uh, uh, you know basic multiplexing operation so nibble uh, uh, as a nibble multiplexer 
So, this is different from the strobe thing which you need to understand. Okay, strobe what does it do? Output will be all high or all low depending on how it is connected. Output is inverted or non inverted, but it is having some value. It is not high, high impedance and that might corrupt the data over here if it is having a common bus kind of architecture. Right? But in uh, tri stated, okay, this is only uh, a high impedance case. So, this is something which we uh, take note of. Okay. So, with this we complete the discussion on multiplexer very quickly what we have seen that uh, output is held at high or low depending on output is inverted non, in, non inverted uh, by uh, when the strobe or enable control input of the uh, multiplexer chip is not uh, activated and when it is activated normal multiplexing operation takes place. A multiplexer can be used as a universal logic circuit okay, and uh, uh, a lower order multiplexer uh, can be used uh, where the concept of entered variable comes into picture by which uh, uh, we can obtain a logic uh, function and multiplexer with tri stated outputs has additional control input which if not enabled keep the output at high impedance and enable multiplexer is useful when uh, group based binary operations are done. Okay. Thank you.